Welcome back. Uh, I thought I've just been looking through some, some photographs of old paintings uh, done, oh, over 30 years ago. And you can probably get enough from, from that to to see that I I was doing simplicity back then. It's got to be 30, 35 years ago when I did those. And these, they haven't come out very well. So you can see I was doing the scraping and all the stuff back then. The top one, well, that was a, an early woodland scene. I just discovered the hake, I think, then, the Ron Ranson hake. That one. And this one is probably pre-hake. It's very old. I don't know whatever happened to it. It's quite a large painting. Well, probably 20 by 15, something like that. And the one I'm going to have a go at now, I think I might have demonstrated it, so I'll do it again. And I'm not sure which lake this is. It's Lake District, when we went up some many years ago. I saw about the uh, reflection. Uh, let's get that. So there's enough in that to make it of interest. And I'll add a bit of a foreground to it because I obviously wasn't standing in the water when I took this. But I'll just do a bit of poetic license just to, to balance it. I don't want to just have a lump of water in the front there. I'll use my, put it out the top of it. I'll use my um, normal palette, but I've had to put some ultramarine in and it has on, it hasn't dried. But anyway, so I'll wedge the paper all over. Oh, dirty, dirty, dirty. And that's the previous one with the three colours with the uh, black and the raw, the burnt sienna, the two colour ones. But I just want to put, the, put, a, put a sky in. It was obviously a, a grey day when I took the photograph. We were staying somewhere near Carlisle and we, we drove into Keswick. It could be uh, over Derwent. Not sure, I'm not sure. If you recognise it, you, or if uh, my version of it, you can say. But, uh, but you know my sort of painting, it's keeping it as simple as possible. I like um, simplicity, keeping things simple. I think simple statements that say just as much about a complicated scene as putting all the detail in. But when you put the detail in, it doesn't leave the viewer any room for imagination and emotional involvement with what you've done. So I'll just get a nice bit of uh, sienna across all of this. Right, I'm going to put a little bit of a peephole of blue. That's too solid. No, we only want it very faint because it's low down in the horizon. And uh, we'll reflect the sky so we can put a bit of blue, blue in there. I saw a fox, a big fox with a, with a dodgy leg about an hour, half an hour ago in my garden and I haven't seen Freddy the kitten for, for a while. I don't know if he's all right. He's out with his friend Elsa from next door. If you don't know what I'm talking about, he appears on a number of recent videos. We've had him for about two and a half months, three months. He's an absolute joy to have. Very loving. The ginger Tom. Well, he's not so much the Tom now because he's been done, but I'm going to uh, dry that off now, so take your headphones off. Oh, I forgot to do the crown, is not I? So a bit of, bit of light red in there before it gets too dry. Ah! Oh, 
Oh, I'll just put a bit of shadow under the cloud. Let's see what happens to that. Okay. Let's just reclip the paper. It blows quite a bit. Right. So I've, I've dried the paper there so that I, I get the uh, a definite line for the horizon because there, there, is, there are no reflections on this. So let's just put it, it's quite a low horizon here. So, okay, so the, the island I was sticking out is going to come across there. goes up there. Well that'll be a sort of a, an approximate. And then <coughs> I'll just touch that with a bit of water underneath. And now I've got a bit of an accident there. I don't want that showing. Okay, so we're going with some harder trees, a bit of sienna, a bit of raw sienna, burnt sienna, a bit of blue. And there's quite a good greeny blue. I need the paper of quite the paint quite thick for this. Right, okay, so nice bit of sand colour showing through. And you come across here. The brush is split, but that's okay because I I can quite easily cope with I'll put some darker stuff underneath that. So I want this raw sienna just to, to show. Right, okay, let's put in the hard tree line. Oh, yeah, I'll cheer with a bit of, bit of grey. Paint's grey, that is. Now I just put my my horizon in. Ah. That was happening. I forgot that the, the blue was uh, straight out straight out of the tube. So uh, yeah. Right, that the the, uh, the greeny blue pines, or whatever we've got on that horizon, is too far away to, for me to see. So we'll just come up here. Right, 
that's going a little bit awry there, so. Right, let's just get that dart back in there. There are small little yachts on that, and I hope I'm not going too much uphill. Right, okay, so let's get in this nice dark island. So I'm missing grey, blue, burnt sienna in here. And that comes cool about halfway across the page here. So let's just put it in. And then. And we'll put a bit of, bit of green in there. So I'll mix a bit of raw sienna with a bit of blue lemon yellow. And we'll just put that in there. And then there's a slight hill going up here. Okay, so that beach in. Carry that beach across here. Right. So we'll carry on with the, the dark, those dark tones. So these trees have got a lot of, well I can see it, ivy on them. This would have been spring when we went up there. It's more or less silhouetted. Here. I'm just using the, the grey and the uh, burnt sienna in here because there's, no, there's very little colour showing. So I will uh, come up here. I'm using very dry paint for this, I want the dry brush to, to show. and all sorts of stuff in here. Oh, it's a bit more solid there. And we've got some trees coming from there, so this would be the shadow. So you do very delicate work with the hake. Okay. More or less okay. Right. Uh, let's get the... Uh, just a little bit of dark underneath that beach.
Right, okay, so that is that. Is that. Right. Uh, so the background's okay, I just need just to straighten that up a little bit there. Just got a nice chisel edge on my brush. Okay, so I can lift out some little boats there, some sails. Right, okay, now I'm going to put in some, uh, I'm going to put some detail in this when it's dry. Just some little rig of work. Just to show some, some of the trees, the trunks. And I want to put a beach in now, so clean my brush, it'll be a, be a greeny sort of beach. So a bit of Payne's grey, a bit of yellow. Just some different colour in there. A lot of this is not going to show behind the mount, but just very simple. green in there. Just some tough just with shorthand for saying so this is foreground. Um, for a little bit of dark. She's a bit of a brush. Okay, that'll do for that. Clean the brush. Now going for the rigger and we we'll just do some bits of bits of grass. I don't usually paint as fine as this, but... Alright, that'll do for that. Just start to detail a bit of dark here, so a bit of paint's grey, a bit of burnt sienna. The, the palette I'm using is lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, which I haven't used, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint's grey, and, and burnt sienna. I haven't used the burnt umber or the alizarin, and only a touch of red in the sky with the clouds. That's all I've, I've done. So we just just a little bit of calligraphy in the sky. I mean, in the uh, trees there. It's all very fine. I don't know if it will show up on the. Make sure when you rest on the paper, your little finger hasn't got any paint picked up on it. There's little details that shows here, but just 
just enough to justify the shapes in this dry brush work here. I'm going to dry it off now, so take your headphones off. Ready, go. Now, with the sky colours, I'm going to just dry brush that's the blue and the red. Bit of bit of water on the brush. It's not that dry. So we're just just showing some some ripples. Yeah, it doesn't always work. The, the paper, it, it's, it's great for dry brush, but not always. And I think you really need to make sure that your paper is flat, flatter than mine. Always a problem with uh, lighter papers, but, but that'll do. If I can just soften see this is this is trying to get out of a out of a tight hole. The paper's buckling now. So if if somebody commented a while ago about dry brushing this sort of thing, but don't tell me what I already know on a comment. Not really helpful. I know what I've done wrong there. So. Right, I'll, I'll dry that off, cut my losses, and I'll, I'll put the foreground just up into that a little bit to disguise that border there. Back to the hake and some some warm some warm uh, colour so it's warm green burnt sienna paints grey and and a lemon yellow so it's just, just It's not too bad now. So I think we've we've got out of a bit of a problem. I'll, I'll put in some more rigor work there. I'm, I'm now going to take out some sails. So uh, the half inch flat brush for that. So these are. I'll just straighten that up a little bit. These these boats do exist. Not exactly where I'm going to put them. 
clean it out there. Right, that's uh, sails, tiny, tiny sails. Yeah. Okay, and, and there. It's easy to do this. Just 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 softening the, the, the paint. Right, uh we go. Some birds in. The birds will link the sky to the landscape. Okay, that'll do then. I can't see any other boats on there, but, but it's largely imagination really. I never paint exactly what I'm looking at. Anyone can copy if you're given enough time. Better to make your own statement using reference material or not as the case may be a lot of my stuff is made up oh, let's just right that's it i'm going to leave that as it is Right, uh, let's put it in the blue mount, I think. So also an exercise of solving problems that were self-inflicted. Right, well, there we are. Uh, I, I would think it was uh, from Keswick. I, but I'm not sure, so we'll, we'll call it the Lake District. Let's zoom in to it, and I'll move the camera around a bit, so we can see what we're doing. So that's my distance there, and coming across to the island. You can just see the trunks of the trees, I hope, all the way across there. And then down to the foreground, which I increased in size, but it's not over insistent, is it? And the dry, the failed dry brush. Ah, it's not too bad. Okay, let's zoom out again. So there we are, the Lake District, um, around Keswick, Keswick, Keswick. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.